What's up, everybody? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and this is another round of MLB Total Chaos. It's going down this Friday, July the 15th. And before we get started, I first have to remind everybody to like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I'm going to let you guys know how this works. Basically, I'm going to give these two expert handicappers four baseball games that are going down this Friday. They're going to tell me if they go over or under the total, and whoever gets the most correct comes back as the champ. Now, we have a bit of a situation in this chaos. <laughs> Ross Mann from the Insider's Room is 15 Oh, and one Detroit Lenny heard about this on the morning wood show and said, I want a piece of that. I want to throw my crown in the ring and take on the champ. Ross, how are you feeling about getting challenged? By uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Nick, good boy, Nick Parsons had told me that I had been uh, personally challenged. Uh, I've had the, the, uh, the fortune of meeting Lenny. So it wasn't like it was a complete stranger. So at least I have met him. So that works out well. Um, no, I like I've said the past few times, I'm enjoying the ride. This is, you know, it's just fun. You know, when you when you have a streak like that, any one of us, you know, it, it obviously yeah, it turns at any time, but it's just fun. You know, it's yeah, it's just kind of crazy. You got to ride it while it's hot. Exactly. That's just it. Now, Lenny, you haven't been in the total chaos ring since hockey season. I have your record for the year. Uh, this is football and hockey numbers, really 11 and 13. How do you feel about coming back? Well, I mean, I was feeling good till you showed the record. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I, I heard about the record, and I was, first of all, congratulations on the streak. I mean, you're absolutely right. Any one of us go on a hot streak, and when you're on it, you just got to you just gotta jump on that wagon. So I thought, hey, you know what? Um, we have had drinks together. Uh, we have met briefly. That day was, like I said, mentioned earlier. It was a little Fair. fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, we have had a few drinks together and stuff, so I figured, you know, throw throw my crown. And this is a self-imposed crown, by the way. This is 100%. You know, I mean, no, I'm a legend in my crown. own mind. Yeah. Uh, it's all I'm right. A legend in my own mind. So, um, you know, win or loss, win, win or lose, I'm keeping the crown. Just throwing that out there as a disclaimer. <laughs> all right. For next uh, time, but, I'm going to yeah, bust out the Burger happy. King crown. Yeah, no, I, this was nine ninety nine at the Halloween store. It's got foam and everything for my fat ass. So, <laughs> but um, I do have a few uh, Burger King crowns as well. I, I, I'm a fan what of the they, Whopper. We want to say. What can I say? Oh what can I say? <laughs> All right, so let's get this party started. We're going to start off with the Reds at the Cardinals. Rossman, you're the champ, so you're going to go first, and I've got a number of nine. Now let me know what you got here. I am sticking with my same methodology. Keep it simple. I'm taking over nine. And I look at this. Reds, have, are their totals are over nine in three of the last five. So tells me their bats alive in the game. Cardinals, the last two were 13 runs each total. So, you know, we're finding runs there. Um, Green's rocking a 5-7 ERA. So... Shouldn't have a hard time with the Cardinals knocking him around a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going over nine on this one. All right, Lenny, what do you got? Um, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the car with him on this one. I'm uh, right out the gate. I'm, I'm on the over nine as well. Um, Hunter Green, like you mentioned, 5'7 ERA, 5.7 ERA. Pallant, I'm terrible with last names. Everybody knows that. Who knows me? So, I, if I'm messing the guy's name up, I'm messing Andre for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> I just go by first names like with friends. Um, I think he can get knocked around as well. Um, the nine, I was, I'd feel more comfortable. If this thing was like at eight and a half on the over, but uh, I'll, I will take over nine in this one. All right. Pirates are at the Rockies. I know this is a problem for you, Lenny, because you have your one rule that you live by in your life is that you don't go above 10. So I'm guessing this is an under for you, Pirates, Rockies, 11. This was, this was hard, and I mentioned this before the show to you. I said, if I lose this, this is the game I'm going to lose because I'm going under 11 on this. Out of it, I got one principle in life, and that's not much to say by, by any means. But I, I don't like to go – I have moved that number to 10 and a half. I have yeah. because the baseball season, ball's been flying around a little bit this year. Um, but the 11 – I mean, you got um, Quintana on the mound, German Marquez on, German Marquez on the mound as well. Both rock a pretty hefty ERA. Both have pretty hefty whips. I got not a lot of 
reasoning behind the under here, except for my one principle in life that has got me to be this far. So uh, I'm going under 11. I mean, the hat. Was, oh no, never mind. It was 19.99. I was gonna say it was then 9.99 crown. What do you got on this one, Ross? I, I, I think Lenny is. This this was a tough one. Um, I'm on the under as well, and it's that makes me it's like tough that. to go under when you're playing at Colorado because yes. everything flies out of that ballpark. Everything. I mean. We just, just checked the score. That it was 13 was the total in the seventh inning on Thursday, the day that we tape right now. So Yeah, and so and we've had Rock, the Rockies on actually several uh, total chaos. Mm-hmm. And um, I've, if I remember correctly, most of them have gone over, but this one's slightly different. Um, I mean, 11 is a big number to start off at, but – and the Rockies have they their games have gone total in three to uh, eleven plus in three of the last five, but we're looking at a better pitcher here that's only given up seven home runs in Quintana. So I think he's got the capability to you know keep those runs a little lower uh, and hopefully keep the home runs down uh, in Rockies ballpark. Um, the Pirates, on the other hand, they're they're not great. At scoring runs right now. Their mm-hmm. their games, one of the last five, it, the totals have gone eleven plus. They're playing better defense, so I know it's at the Rockies, but I like the under. All right, so we agree. That's what I told him. He was like, "If this is the game I'm going to lose on, I'm like, not if Ross takes it under." Also, yeah. So we're all, we're back it's, to it's, square one here. It's hard to take an under on the Rockies at home. It is. Um, it's it's just really hard. I don't care wh- who's pitching or where it's at, but it's hard. Yeah. But sometimes you just gotta hold your nose and make the bet. Um, so yep. we got the Diamondbacks of the Padres, Bum Bum and Darvish. Seven and a half is the number. Ross, you're up first. On this one, uh, seven and a half for me is a low end number, uh, but I'm going under seven and a half. Um, I look at this, and Padres are struggling to score runs at home as of late. Um, and you know me, I try to keep these trends to uh, things that have happened lately. They've only scored 13 total runs in their last six home games. Six of those runs came in one game. So they're not scoring at home as of late. And you've got the matchup where it's Bumgarner and Darvish, two names that in the past have really meant something. So there's still that potential that they could mean something and have a, a bit of a pitching performance here. Um, so, uh, same deal. The Diamondbacks actually three of their last five, the total has gone under seven and a half as well. So, um, I'm, I'm going to go with under on this one. All right. Lenny, agree or disagree? Uh, I agree. I, I, am trying to find uh, a game that we don't agree <laughs> here, but, uh, I do. Darvish at home has been money for them. Uh, looking up the stats, what really pulled me here in this game is, um, as far as a side goes, I like, I like the Diamondbacks. Okay, um, but they've already played nine times this year, and only three of those nine have went over the seven and a half. So I like the under here. Darvish at home, uh, he he's he probably still has more of that magic um, that you alluded to, both of them having a little bit of, of arm there than Bumgarner. So, uh, but I like I like the under here. Uh, All right, so we agree again. Those those are our money picks on this show. The consensus picks are the money-making picks on the show. So you've already got three. Let's see if we can make it four. We've got Brewers and Giants, the number seven with Woodruff and Wood. Lenny, you're up first. Uh, I'm going with the over here. Right, uh, I like this at seven. Uh, Woodruff and Wood on the mound, like you said. Wood's six and seven with a 4-4 ERA. He's rocking a 1.27 ERA. Uh, Woodruff, on the other hand, Four ERA, seven three uh, record. I think they can get after this game here. Uh, the last game they only played once already this year, and it was four to two, so it was only at six. But I do think, you know, I like the over here, and I don't have a whole lot of reasons. Everybody that knows me knows that sometimes I ain't got a lot of reasons. I just it's in my head, and I can't verbalize it. But I'm going over. So. Okay. Ross, man, can you verbalize it over or under? Oh, oh, I can verbalize it a little bit. I'm kind of in the same boat as Lenny, though. And simple has kind of helped the streak stay alive, too. Um, and we're going four for four on this one. I'm over Ooh. seven. Um, 
So what I'm looking at on this one, both teams, and again, I'm trying to keep that these trends uh, as simple as of late, both in their last five are four and one with the totals being seven plus. So worst case scenario, we're looking at a trend where this could be a push. And I if that's the case, then I'm definitely going to tend to, you know, fade that over. So I'm definitely going over. But I mean, Lenny hit it. Both both guys are, are four plus ERAs. So yeah, I mean, there's kind of common sense on this one. Um, when you see all of that together, it makes you want to think that the over seven is good on this one. Yeah. Sure. All right. So we do agree then. So I'm going to do a recap, but I need both of you to pick out your best bet um, for the day. Okay. It could be a side. It could be a total. It doesn't have to be one of the games we talked about. Just give me your best bet that happens tomorrow uh, for the tiebreaker. And I'm going to do a recap and remind everyone to please like, and subscribe, uh, ring that little bell there. It'll notify you every time we go live or put out a new video here at pick some parlays. So don't forget to do that. If you're looking for me, I'm Allie Burns. You can find me at plus money, honey. And if you're looking for a new sports bet book, check out Bet MGM for all new accounts. They're hooking you up with a thousand bucks in a risk-free first bet. You just got to use the promo code MORNING. Or like I said, check out the description of this video. Click on that link. It'll take you right there. Um, Rossman, they can find you at Rossman RNR 07 1501. Tell the people what you're all about, Rossman. I am also a part of the insiders room. Uh, I've got a great thing going on over there. Um, specialty is uh, football um, and primarily college football as well. Um, so, but uh, I've been enjoying these uh, MLB totals too. So um, no, a uh, lot of fun and meeting some great people. Uh, Ellie, you, Lenny, the guys in the insiders room, just meeting some great people. So I'm just having fun with it. Beautiful. Well, we're happy to have you on board. Guys, check Absolutely. out the Insider's Room Discord. Lots of fun. Lots of great picks and knowledge over there. Detroit Lenny. Find him at Detroit Lenny. We keep it simple. Um, how's your TikTok going? We haven't talked about your picks and parlays TikTok. Do you do that anymore? I do. I, I do. I've been trying to get... I, I had like a week when I was covering for Nicarol or whatever, where I was a little lazy on posting every day, but... Uh, Trying to get back to it, uh, posting more and more in baseball and stuff like that. Um, but I'm trying to do some more fun stuff, fun, fun TikToks rather than just posting plays. So right. I got a well, few you lines. You crushed it there. Yeah, we've been, um, we've been, uh, I've been crushing Nerfies, man. That's my jam in, in baseball. If we had a Nerfie chaos, just forget about it. I'm just I telling you right now. <laughs> I can make that uh, happen. Yes, no is the same as over under. You know? That's true. I mean, uh, I, I like me some nerfies, uh, but uh, baseball is getting me through to football as well. College football. I love me some college football. I'm a Mac guy. I love the Maction, uh, oh, love Maction it. action uh, and uh big NFL guy. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for me. Also, check out Lenny every day, game time decision, 5 p.m. Eastern. And, of course, he's with me on Morningwood every day at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then next week starts our NFL, college football, all that jazz, the power hour is coming to Picks and Parlays next week. And both of you are going to be involved in that. So that's why you guys got to ring that bell for notifications because you do not want to miss the new show that we are launching in just T-minus like four days. I know. Don't tell me. I've got lots to do for it. Uh, I've got lots of graphics figured out. All right. So let's do some recapping. Remember when they agreed, those are the money plays. They agreed on all four. The Reds and Cards are going over nine. The Pirates and Rockies are going under 11. Diamondbacks Padres are going under seven and a half. And the Brewers Giants are going over the seven. Rossman, what is your best bet? I am – I'm going to kind of take a lock here as the Brewers and Giants over seven. Okay, Brewers over seven. All right, Lenny, what's yours? Man, um, that was on the list. Uh, I will say that's a pretty good bet right there. Um, do, do I have yeah, to do a total? There? I, well, I don't have any odds really on Nerfies yet. Oh, that's true, yeah. Um, but I do like the Nerfie and the uh, – in the Mets game, but um, I'm going to take the Mets on the money line. 
I'd, I'd even take them on the run line tomorrow against what the Cubs. Um, the well, I got the Mets money line at one thirty, minus one thirty. But I would probably bet the run line for me uh, with Walker on the mound going against Stroman and the Mets Cubs. That's an early game tomorrow. It's eleven thirty oh. Pacific time. So, uh, so do I you like want the Mets. it on the money line for contest purposes, or do you want yes. to lay the run? Okay, that's what I thought. Yes. I know. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, well, that minus one thirty is fair. So yeah, I'd say that's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, minus one fifty. Yeah, and is like, you guys tell me that. Yeah, I'm good with either or, but if it, if I get the money line, I'm taking the money line. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We the morning wood show is all about doing contests, and the juice always has to be under a minus one fifty. So yeah, that makes it's sense. like how people say price is right rules. Like, all right, we'll make a bet on this price is right yeah. rules. We have like morning wood rules that same way. Like. <laughs> Closest to minus 150 without going over (laughs) kind of stuff. All right, guys. Thank you all both so much for joining me. That was a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what these outcomes are. Like I always say, may the best capper win. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thanks.